Douglas Sidialo is just one of the Kenyans who lost their sight after the 1998 bomb blast at the United States Embassy in Nairobi. I had what I thought were gunshots, but this turned out to be hand grenades being thrown at the embassy. Then I saw a man run from the scene of the blast towards the heavy traffic where my car was. And that's when the huge blast went. Douglas was rescued and rushed to Kenyatta National Hospital where doctors tried their best to save his sight. Two months later, a Dr. Gondi told me when I was getting discharged that I'll be able to recover my sight in six months. But I've been waiting for this miracle to happen for the last 24 years. Aside from accidents, blindness may occur as a result of eye diseases such as cataracts and trachoma, among other causes. However, 80% of eye diseases are preventable. Some diseases that cause uh, loss of sight like cataract or corneal diseases, they can be treated with good outcome. Diagnosis and treatment of eye diseases is faced with the challenge of resources and adequate health workers, especially in remote areas. Kenya has only 160 ophthalmologists. Actually about 60% of the ophthalmologists are in Nairobi and the surrounding counties. So we probably need about three to four times more. Non-communicable diseases also contribute to vision loss. For instance, out of 475,000 people suffering from type 2 diabetes, 10% are at risk of losing their sight. If you are diabetic, <coughs> let you go to an eye clinic for evaluation, even if you have no problem, even if your sight is perfect. Because usually, by the time it makes uh, a patient present because you can't see, you are reaching a point of no return. Children's behavioral patterns such as using computers, phones, and television for extended periods of time may lead to an increase in cases of short-sightedness that has for many years been associated with aging. Most of the complaints nowadays will get children have perfect vision. They'll, when we measure their vision for distance, it's 100% or near, it's very good. But they'll come complaining of um, uh, they have issues looking at the TV. They'll say they feel like it's watery, their eyes are watery. They'll complain of headaches. They might complain of a bit of itching because of that exposure for too long. If you have kids, allow them to have about 30 minutes outside the house. That helps them to see things that are far, so it helps them also to learn and to see things better. While commemorating the World Sight Day, goals by the Ministry of Health are to eradicate trachoma by 2023 and to build eye health monitoring centers in all counties in the country. Ben Kerera K24, Nairobi.